Melody Francia and Julie Chalmers have joined the renovation revolution. We're in a very old house. We're starting to do all the renos. The floor was the utmost importance. We ended up deciding that we would paint the walls of the house. While these mums desperately wanted to spruce up their homes, both were concerned about paint and polish fumes. I have always been aware that, uh, that the fumes from uh, ordinary paints are toxic, that they um, can cause respiratory problems in children and, and respiratory problems in adults. I have a son with a learning disability which makes him hypersensitive to really nasty smells and I couldn't put him through that again. You can get a, a toxicity from the solvent from the paint because you're exposed to enormous amounts or other people who just get exposed to very small amounts can have a sensitivity reaction to the solvent in the paint. Dr Greg Emerson specialises in environmental medicine and says the common complaints associated with solvent fumes are foggy thinking, fatigue and rashes. And anything that we can do to try and reduce our exposure to a toxic burden should, you know, we should be trying to do. Ten years ago, professional painter Steve Williams walked away from his career to escape the side effects of paint fumes. Yeah, I developed dermatitis and I saw that a lot of other painters that I was working with developed dermatitis too. There's also breathing problems, asthma. But recently Steve picked the brush up again after discovering non-toxic paints. There's two synthetic brands that we use. One is made in uh, Yandina, so it's a lovely local brand. One is an Italian range that's imported via the Gold Coast, so that has a, a great range of paints. And a third brand is completely natural, so it's just literally made of plant oils and minerals. According to Steve, there's no toxic solvents and more importantly, no overpowering fumes. I mean, the paint has a slight um, smell as in the way that all people have a smell, um, but there's no, there's no um, lingering odour. Fellow renovator Melody is also breathing easy after discovering a non-toxic floorboard polish. The smell was nice actually. A far cry from the last time Melody had her floors polished, the toxic fumes forced the family out of the home for almost a fortnight. We started to get sick ourselves, headaches and like a hangover symptom. So floor polisher Andrew Mowbray switched to non-toxic, environmentally friendly floor polishes, which are water-based rather than solvent-based. And apart from being fume-free, he says the non-toxic polishes are better for the timber, won't discolour over time and also dry quicker. They can live in the house, um, depending on how the house is set up, you can do one half for the house while they're living in the other. And according to Andrew, there's a range of different floor stains just like regular polishes. There's a, an amazing array of colours as you can see and they come in really vibrant colours. For example, this is one of the latest colours that's out and that's Lindemann Lime. Both the non-toxic paint and floor polishes are a little bit more expensive but according to our mums, the finished results and the durability are equal to their conventional solvent-based counterparts. Yeah, it's just like any other paint basically. The non-toxic paints and polishes are available from selected specialist stores.